Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to log in a Facebook account without email and phone number. I'm gonna do it with you, um, pretending like I don't know how to get into my phone or my account, and I don't remember the email, and I don't have access to the phone number. But uh, before we get into it, if uh, I do suggest that if it's a email address that you know, but you just don't remember the password to that email address, I recommend going into that email, go to Gmail, go to Yahoo, and try to recover your password that way, because this would make it so much easier to get back in, because they do require to send a verification code to you. So if you don't have that um, ability to gain access to that, it's gonna be quite hard to get your account back. So yeah, if you have an email address, you remember what it is, you just don't know the password, go ahead and try to troubleshoot with that first before you jump in to trying to recover your password and your account. However, if you just don't have access to that, I'm just gonna walk you through what will happen, what uh, your options are. So the first thing is, it's gonna ask you, before you hit forgot password, to put in a mobile email, phone number, anything that you remember um, about your account. So even if you don't have access to that phone number anymore, go ahead and put it in. And then scroll down and hit forgot password. And it says we can send this login code to you through this, but you say no, try another way because we don't have access to it. Um, here it's gonna say enter the password, here's that phone number, but you don't have access to it. So at the very bottom it says no longer have access to these and go ahead and click on that. And then it's gonna give you this option or this um, message saying that basically this is not a recognized device that logs into this account. If you do go to your iPad or your laptop or your phone that you usually log in with, then you have a better chance of getting onto your account because it can verify that this device is always logging in on this phone, so it must be them. Um, but if you cannot do that, and you cannot have access to that phone or to that laptop, and you still have no access to this, then you're kind of out of options here. Um, you can email Facebook and try to you know, prove your identity with a um, government-issued ID, or if you've set up that two to three friend um, uh, identification uh, thing that they have now, if you can oh, you know, message your friends and have them confirm that your identity, who you are, then you could do it that way. But really, if you do not have access to you know, your phone number or an email, it doesn't even have to be the last phone number or last email. It just has to be a phone number or a email that was associated with that account. So um, go ahead and troubleshoot those. Go ahead and try to reset that email account password so you can get back on there and get the verification code. Otherwise, you really can't get back into your account. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.